this is the start of our new geography topic. Uh, so this is our year four. This is the first week of our lessons about our world. It's all about the planet that we live on and where we are in relation to the rest of the planet. In week one, our learning objectives are to be able to identify the seven continents, the five oceans, the poles and the equator. And we also want to be able to use a map or a globe to find countries that are in the northern and southern hemispheres. I'll explain what those words mean in a minute. Here's a globe. So you might have one like this at home, in which case you could use it for these lessons. Uh, or you might have some maps or atlases. Use them, that'll be great. But don't worry if you haven't got that type of thing at home, it, it won't matter. So the first question for you, can you find the United Kingdom? Now on this globe, the way that uh, we're looking at it here, it's quite difficult to find the UK. So just a reminder, this is Africa. Above Africa is Europe. So using those clues, can you find the United Kingdom? I'll give you a few seconds. Okay, well done. Here it is. It's right up near the top here. So that's the United Kingdom. Now, how about the equator? Can you find the equator? Okay, well done. So I expect that most of you know that the equator is a line that we use. It's not a real line. It's an imaginary line that runs right the way around the middle of the world. Okay. And all the countries that are on that line are very hot. Okay, the equator is one of the hottest parts of the world. So here in Africa, those countries, very hot. And again, here, down here in Indonesia and all the way around the world. The equator runs through Brazil. And I'm sure you, I'm sure you know that's where the Amazon rainforest is. Also very hot. What about, next question for you, can you find the North Pole? Okay, well done. There's the North Pole. How about the South Pole? Excellent. So I'm sure you got that. So the North Pole and South Pole, unlike the equator, there everything is very, very cold. And in winter, the uh, sun doesn't come up at all at the North Pole or the South Pole. But remember that winter is the opposite here, down here in the South. And so they have winter in July and August, whereas we have it in December and January. Right, next, we're going to just divide the world into two halves. And this is the phrase or the phrases that I want you to learn for this topic. All of the part of the world, the land and the sea that's above the equator, we call it the northern hemisphere. So this is a phrase I wanted to use. The world is like a ball, as you know. And so the world is a sphere. So we use the phrase northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere to describe the two halves of our planet. Okay, now we're obviously up here in the Northern Hemisphere and we're between the equator and the North Pole. So it's very cold at the North Pole, it's very hot at the equator. Britain, as you know, is in the middle. Okay, so it's not too hot nor too cold. Okay, now this time we're looking at a map instead of a globe. And I've got a few questions for you, and this relates to your first task that you're going to complete for me and send to me. So here's a map of the world, and I want you to see if you can find the following things. Okay, you're going to find the continents and the oceans, the UK, like we did last time, the equator, the Antarctic, and the northern and southern hemispheres. Now the continents, I'll be upset if you get them wrong, because you know a song to help you remember all the continents that we've learned at school. Okay, the seven continents song, so you can sing that to yourself and you can teach it to your family. The oceans, you may not know, so I've got a list here. These are the five oceans. Okay, so they're the names of the oceans. Arctic, Atlantic, Pacific, Indian and Southern Oceans. But for your task, you're going to try and put them all in the right place. You're going to label them. Okay. So, here's how it works. To help you, if there's any of the, I think you will know the continents, but if there's any of these other, if the oceans, for example, that you don't know, you're going to look on Toparopa. Okay? Uh, and this is a brilliant website. It's free. You get onto Toparopa and you can play a game on there called uh, which you find the world's oceans. Okay? You can also do another game that you might have done before 
to find all the continents. And it's good fun and it'll help you remember them. So for your first task, you don't need a printer for this. You're just going to draw a map of the world. This is the one that I've done. Okay, so remember, this doesn't have to be a work of art. This took me less than five minutes. So you draw a map of the world. Okay, and I'll give you a clue. There's the UK up there where we live. And I've done a little bit of C. So again, this didn't take me a long time. I've just put the C in there. And now I want you to do a little map of the world like this on a piece of paper. And when you've finished labeling it, you're going to send it to me or your parents will send it to me on my school email. So these are the things you need to label. The UK, the continents, remember there are seven, the oceans, there are five, and then the northern and southern hemispheres. That's the land above the equator and the land below the equator. Okay, here's a clue for you. The UK where we live is there. Okay, and then you're going to write on all of these this, the land obviously is the continents, and then the sea is where you'll put the oceans. Right, when you've done that, you're going to send it to me. So, pause the video now if you haven't finished task number one, okay, and don't go any further. You can come back to this video once you've finished your first task. So, let's go through the oceans. I'm not going to go through the continents because I think we know them. Uh, the oceans, where do they go? Right, in order to make sure we've got them all in the right place, let's just put them here in the right place now. So let's start with the Atlantic. That's the one you should be most familiar with because it comes right up here to Britain. So you might have been swimming in the Atlantic. If you've been down to Cornwall, you may have gone in there. And the Atlantic stretches all the way down here, down between Brazil and Africa as well. Then we're going to do the Arctic. Now, I wouldn't recommend you go swimming in the Arctic because it's right up here near the North Pole. OK, and then the Southern Ocean is the ocean that's down here. Again, very cold down near Antarctica. The Indian Ocean is here between India, which is there, and Africa. So that's the Indian Ocean. And finally, the Pacific. Well, the label could stay here because this is the Pacific. But the Pacific is the largest ocean in the world, and it actually also stretches right the way around the part of the world that we can't see on this map. And this is also the Pacific. OK, so a massive ocean. Now, I said I wasn't going to label the continents, but we can just, just make sure we've got them all right. So I think that you will have sung the song and you will have got them all in the right order. The biggest continent here is Asia. Asia includes countries like Russia and China. So remember that the country is not the same as a continent. So you've got Russia, China. In Asia, there's also Japan. You've also got Indonesia, India, lots and lots of other countries. So that's the biggest continent, Asia. Second biggest is Africa. And in Africa, you've got South Africa here, but you've also got lots and lots of other countries, including, for example, here's Egypt, which we've been studying in history. So we go Asia, Africa, then it's North America, which includes the United States of America, but it also includes Canada and it includes Mexico and all these other countries here. So that's the continent of North America. Then it's South America which includes Brazil, also includes Argentina, Chile, and lots of other countries too. Then you've got Antarctica, the fifth biggest continent. Then there's Europe here, where we live. And there's the UK. And finally, Australia, which is not just the country of Australia, but also New Zealand here and all of the Pacific Islands that are down here in this area. OK, so I'm sure you got you labeled the equator correctly, which is this line that goes across the middle of the world. And then as I think you would have got this right as well. Here's the northern hemisphere. Here's the southern hemisphere. OK, well done. Back to the slides. So we've done that. 
And now we're on to task two. Okay, now on task two, which you're also going to send me, you're either going to uh, print this page off the school's website, or uh, again, it doesn't matter if your printer's not working like the first task, just draw a little picture with two circles on a piece of paper and draw a dotted line through the middle. So this task is about identifying countries and continents that are in the Northern Hemisphere and countries and continents in the Southern Hemisphere and trying to find if there are any countries that are actually in both because they go across the equator. Okay, here's some examples. So a country that's in the Northern Hemisphere, an example you could write, fill this in on your diagram would be the United Kingdom. A country that's in the Southern Hemisphere is Australia. There are lots of other countries you could put in there as well. And a country that's on the equator is Brazil. I want you to do at least five in this top bit, the Northern Hemisphere, five in here and another five in there. You can use a map or a globe that you've got at home. That'll be fine. But if you haven't got anything, then here's a website you can go on, which I'll put on the school's, um, on a link on the school's uh, geography page for you. And you can just go here. It's called the National Geographic. OK, and you can go on there and you'll be able to work out the answers for all your questions by using this. It's free like top of rope. OK, good. Now here's a reminder of the new vocabulary that we're using for this topic. I want to learn all these words and you need to be able to spell them correctly as well. And uh, this is just a preview. Next week, we'll be looking at how we divide up the world using the horizontal and vertical lines that we call latitude and longitude. OK, well done. Remember, there are two things you're going to send me. You're going to send me this little diagram. OK, and you're also going to send me, let's get there in a minute, there we go, a diagram like this with all the continents and oceans labelled. OK, well done, everybody. I'll speak to you soon. All the best. Bye.